Hi, my name is Carl Schollhammer and I'm a graduate student in the Department of Chemical Engineering at MIT. I'm going to talk to you today about drug delivery. Currently, when doctors need to give drugs, they give it either with pills or with needles. While we all prefer taking pills, some molecules are too large to get through the lining of our gastrointestinal tract and have to be injected with the needle. Needles are painful and dangerous to doctors and patients alike, and we prefer not to use them. My invention that I'm going to tell you about today is going to eliminate the need for needles. This is the ultrasound pill. While fully ingestible, like this one, it emits ultrasound. Let me explain to you how that helps drugs get into our body. When the U-pill is submerged in fluid, the ultrasound waves create tiny bubbles that swirl around chaotically. They eventually become unstable and implode, driving a jet of drug into the tissue. Let's see what this looks like in real life. Placing the U-pill in a tank of water, you can easily see the bubbles that form as a result of the ultrasound. They swirl and move away from the pill in all directions. We're currently testing the U-pill in vivo using pigs, like Charlotte here, because the anatomy of their genetic tract is most similar to humans. Using a colonoscope, we place the U-pill in the colon along with a temperature probe to monitor the temperature. When we start the treatment, we administer an enema containing insulin and move the pill back and forth to mimic its motion in the GI tract. By collecting blood samples, we can monitor the animal's blood glucose levels with time. In a short treatment time, we are able to achieve a significant drop in glucose. Insulin delivery demonstrates this technology's capabilities. Importantly, any molecule can be delivered with the U-pill, broadening its impact. Eliminating the need for needles will save millions of dollars in healthcare costs due to needle stick injuries and increase convenience and compliance for patients. After all, no one wants to be stabbed with a needle.